Today we're going to be showing off another PC from the NCIX PC laboratory. So I'm in, uh, well, you've got three guesses as to uh, whose office we happen to be in here right now. And uh, the first two don't count. So uh, basically he's got a new system that we're working on for the end of the month. And this is going to be our fastest Vesta PC ever. This is the Vesta 6050. And it's actually going to be available in a couple different configurations. So the one that we have here, since this is a balls to the walls performance machine is actually featuring dual GTX 580s. It has a 120 gig SSD. It's got an ASUS Republic of Gamers Rampage 3 Formula motherboard, Core i5, i5, Core i7 950 processor, and it also has 12 gigs of RAM. Now the performance edition comes with DDR3 1600, and the base edition actually has some key changes. So it comes with DDR3 1333, it cuts out one of the graphics cards. The performance one comes not only with an SSD, but also with a large storage drive, and the base one does not. And then the power supply is another key one. So the performance edition comes with a TX850 watt power supply, and the base edition does not. Now, now, the whole point of this video is not just to show off the new system that we have coming out. Oh, oh yeah, they're both liquid cooled, even though you can't see it. So, see, look. The liquid cooling is coming when we actually put it in the case, which is going to be a Fractal Design Define XL. So the base one uses an H50, and the performance one being the utter maximum system that it is, uses a Corsair H70 liquid cooler. But I also wanted to show you guys the testing and validation procedure that goes into these systems and has actually helped us catch a lot of problems before we release them to the general public. For example, we encountered a RAM kit that was uniformly incompatible with every Phenom 2 X4 and X6 processor on the market. We had no way of knowing. The specs said they should work, but because of our validation procedures, we were able to find out that the system was randomly locking up and that even though the parts weren't defective, they didn't work together, even though they should work together. So basically we use a host of different programs and these are all enthusiast grade programs, not your you know grandpa's benchmarking programs. So we use Linux as well as Prime95, Memtest, and then for 3D, we do a test with Vantage as well as Furmark. And with all of these prototype systems so far, we've done at least some gameplay with an intensive game like Crisis, uh, Mafia 2, just to make sure that besides the synthetic benchmarks, we're not going to run into any problems with a demanding modern game engine. So this system, this prototype, won't be ready probably for another four to five days just because the uh, the crazy Russian needs to do a lot more of his crazy Russian stuff on it, make sure that it passes all these tests overnight and it's just crazy stable, and then we're gonna be able to go ahead and release the system around this. So thank you for checking out this little video on the validation process that uh, goes on behind the scenes. Don't forget to check out NCIXPC on Facebook, that is facebook.com slash NCIXPC, and also don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.